name is Bryce Simmons. I'm an associate professor here at Scripps Oceanography, and I'm the director of the California Cooperative Oceanic Fisheries Investigations, or CalCoffee. CalCoffee began actually in the late 1940s in response to the sardine crash. That crash uh, was important to California and our country because at the time, sardines were the single largest fishery in the Northern Hemisphere. The sardine fishery itself recognized that it wasn't just over harvest that was the problem. There was something changing in the ocean. And at the time, we didn't have an understanding of ocean habitat. And so the sardine fishery voted actually to tax itself in order to fund an ocean-going uh, large ship monitoring program of California's ocean habitats. In the 40s, uh, sardines was the focus of the program, but it quickly grew to much more than just sardines, to include everything from ocean chemistry, to primary productivity, to all different kinds of, of, of fish species, all the way up to, uh, in a modern context, marine mammals and seabirds. So it's a, it's a really holistic ocean monitoring program in, in a way that wasn't necessarily visualized by the people that originally began the program. It's certainly the longest and largest ocean ecosystem monitoring program anywhere in the world. The massive data set that CalCoffee represents provides for some really surprising discoveries. For instance, what we know about global climate phenomena like El Nino have really been informed by the CalCoffee data set. Another example, CalCoffee allows us to look at where animals are in space and, and how that shifts as a function of ongoing climate change. And then lastly, CalCoffee has been really surprising in terms of informing how oxygen in the environment is influencing where animals are in space and ultimately the productivity of the fisheries that we care about. Those long-term monitoring programs are really important for reasons that we don't know yet. A great example of that is in, in the 1940s, there was no such thing as climate change, or at least we didn't know about it. And, and now, fast forward to today, and climate change is arguably the, the single largest threat facing our ocean resources and our coastal communities. And because we have that continuous time series since the 1940s to now, we not only have the ability to see how the ocean changes, but also be able to contextualize what happens into the future based on what the past looks like. We have to have a roadmap for how to do that, and the history of CalCoffee affords us the ability to generate that roadmap.